So, Gamsley, here's the thing. Uh, the story is pulled up in front of me. Uh, very, very simply, it says, will Gears of War E-Day have multiplayer? What about Gear 6? The Coalition gives us some hints as to the future of the franchise. And uh, Jez Corden writes, and I'm reading verbatim, folks, we caught up with the Coalition to learn all about Gears of War E-Day in this new interview. And it says, I have returned from the Xbox Game Showcase 2024 in L.A. with a mountain of juicy new gaming information. Last week, Microsoft had its best pitch for the Xbox platform ever. Thanks to a bumper, Xbox Game Showcase 2024. With amazing trailer after amazing trailer, the showcase gave us a glimpse at Xbox's incredible upcoming Xbox Games roadmap with titles like Perfect Dark, Fable, South of Midnight, Avowed, and many, many more. But this headline uh, came to one of Xbox's most iconic, long standing franchises. And the coalition emerged from its slumber with Gears of War E-Day, aiming to tell the story of the Locust Horde from its very inception, Emergence Day, which is a notorious event in the Gears of War history, with Gears 1 itself taking place 14 years. Hence, the game is shrouded in mystery and intrigue right now, leading with an absolutely spectacular Unreal Engine 5 trailer showcasing the game's gritty tone. Now, to cut to the chase, what was learned during this interview? And we're going to get right into it, uh, Gamsley. It takes place 14 years before Gears of War 1. There will be new weapons and locust types. There will, in fact, be multiplayer modes. Now, obviously, I think that is kind of should be second nature. Uh, we kind of should have guessed that, but there was some talk into if there was going to be multiplayer, the Coalition has put the kibosh on there not being any in the game. It is going to be your atypical Gears of War release. It's going to have multiplayer. It's going to have single player. And I'm sure... Can I butt in? Who the hell yeah, was sure. saying that there wasn't multiplayer? Uh, I mean, according to this, there is going to be multiplayer. No, no. What I'm what I mean is, who who said there wasn't going to be multiplayer? There was some talk because when you looked at after the trailer, when it went up, multiplayer had been removed from the, the from what was going to be available in the game. But I think that was just because you were seeing the single player. Uh, but so there was some talk as to there not being multiplayer, which seems silly to be honest with you. I just think it was the trolls doing what well trolls know and love you know how to do uh but it also says it's returning to its gears roots which for a lot of people means that it's going to be some claustrophobic you know alleyways and some very linear uh ways of telling the story that is what we saw in gears one two and three we did not see that in gears four and five a lot of people did not like that the way the direction that the coalition was taking the, the franchise. I happen to not mind. I actually quite enjoyed the open world. And, well, it's going back to what people know and love about the franchise. Now, it says here, which, interestingly enough, General Ram, question mark, no comments, smirks. And, of course, there. W what I think is really cool here, Gamsley, is, you know, when you play some of the later Gears, you find a retro Lance, and you're like, eh, Right, I'd rather have the ch I'd rather have the chainsaw mod, but this time around, because this is a prequel, well, you're going to be rocking with the lancer that only has the knife or the bayonet at the end of it. According to this story, we're going to not only learn the chainsaw uh, chainsaw guns are going to return, but we're going to get to see the story behind it on how it's made. Sounds freaking dope to me. Let's get your hot take on this new information kind of obviously coming from of course window central yeah no everything everything about this era of gears of war is just so amazing right it's it's kind of like uh the intrigue in star wars and you know that that little snippet that we're missing that they're starting to fill out um between the clone wars and the original trilogy and all that stuff it's like one of the it's it's such a sweet spot um so intriguing 
they just finished one war and all of a sudden this major enemy just pops out of nowhere and scares the shit out of people. Uh, I'm, I'm really um, interested in the story. The Lancer thing is probably the thing I'm least interested in. I mean, I'm not, I, I don't, I mean, it's, it's going to be a natural thing. He looked at the, the little uh, knife at the end of the, the gun and he was like, man, humanity used this like 500 years ago. Why don't we have a chainsaw on it? And he's going to make a chainsaw gun. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty straightforward stuff. It, it, it's incredible. I, I really am looking forward for the like psychology and how our guys get from what they were then to what they are at gears one because obviously so much trauma happened marcus gets obviously much better at killing things um he gets emotionless it seems like he's like even during that fight fight he has a lot of emotion showing right he's like completely different in my eyes so um i want to see his transformation into what we know him as in gears of war one through three um and to see that bond form so uh, I'm I'm super super ready for this game, um, and the multiplayer stuff. Look, I I I don't know where this is coming from. Like, I mean, obviously they're not Naughty Dog. You know, they're not gonna rip out <laughs> features from their games. Uh, it's always been a thing. I'm pretty sure they're gonna try to stick to having multiplayer in it for as long as the franchise lives and survives. Um, just like Halo, you know, the thing about Halo is that it has a great, competent solo experience and a magnificent multiplayer experience. That's kind of in Gears um, nature as well. It has some sort of, you know, experience um, after the campaign ends. So we, we're, we're going to see that forever, hopefully. So I don't know who's shooting mud at this to get engagement, but stop it. Okay, don't, stop can we just stop going on Steam pages and lurking in the background and like freaking, I don't know, data hunting? It's like, come on, guys, we're consumer, we're consumers. Can we, can we just be happy? It's Gears, E Day. Can we do that? You know, well, I'm happy. Like, why we, You're happy. Yeah. Fuzzy Belvedere is happy, why, why but uh, apparently about, a lot of PlayStation there, gamers are not. Oh my God! It, aren't you getting it too? Shut up! You know, like, aren't you get? You're supposed to be getting it, right? Be quiet, you losers. Anyways, point is, um, we're we're getting a hell of a game, and we're getting it in Game Pass day one, baby, and um, it looks fantastic, and I can't wait to see more. And oh my God, I, Fuzzy, welcome, you beautiful bald head, you <laughs> lovely person. Um, how are you feeling about it, man? Let's go. Let's talk about that stuff. Are you excited for Gears? Yeah, I'm. I'm excited yeah. for Gears, but like the the nonsense, like you were saying, as far as people making up stuff about not having a multiplayer, like I I don't think there's ever been a question about Xbox not having a multiplayer, even for their titles that have always had multiplayer and it not coming at the same time, like. I, 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 if I remember right, even with Halo, I think the the Halo multiplayer was actually completed before the actual mm-hmm. campaign, yeah. and we got to do the beta test for that prior. So the only thing I could see where there may be some small validity to it would be that the uh, multiplayer is as a separate app on your Xbox. So that way, when you go to log in, it's a totally separate thing. Which even my cat's like, why are these guys? making <laughs> stuff in the background but but yeah for the most part it's like unless it's like a separate app i can't imagine it being something not included like much much like you said it's not like naughty dog with factions not making its appearance you know after the remaster and things like that but yeah for the most part it it should be there without question i i, I can't imagine a, a a coalition world where they don't have it at at launch for the game or you know, as part of that E-Day experience. So more FUD. I, I guess they, they have to find something to grasp straws at because there there wasn't any announcement, like they said, of, you know, Halo coming to PS5 or even mm-hmm. Gears coming to PS5. Like, they, they have to grab at something. They, they know they're getting Call of Duty, but that's about as far as it goes right now, so. 
<laughs> you know, you know, uh, Fuzzy, I, 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 more information here. Now, obviously, there's still Kate's story that needs to continue at some point. Uh, I don't know when we're going to get a Gear 6. Uh, I, I am, for one, very happy to know that we are going back in reverse. Uh, now, obviously, many people that are Gears fans, if you have read some of the books, E-Day, they've gone into it, right? We've heard stories of it. Obviously, the Gears 1 opens up with what actually transpired on E-Day and what, what it looks like and what it's depicted at, but we've never actually been involved in it in a game. And obviously, E-Day e is an event where it, it, it's obviously huge Gears canon. We're now going to get a chance to see where they're going now we know obviously through gears one two and three what the end game is for some characters i i personally am excited to know how baird and coltrane wh where do they come in obviously there's going to be a bond here that's going to be forming with dom and marcus obviously that is the brotherhood that we're looking for I don't know how long the game is going to be. I would imagine it is going to be as potentially as long as any of the other Gears games. It's going to have a bunch of acts and chapters. Uh, again, it's getting back to the roots of what made uh, Gears what it is. Now, I do want to ask the gentleman here, and I'll, I'll reach out to the chat here. One of the things, Fuzzy Belvedere, and I'll bring it back to you in a second, uh, Gamsley. Horror. Horror has been at the roots of years of war since inception and maybe not your traditional boogeyman hiding around the corner with a you know with a michael myers knife but like for instance i remember a specific part in gears one where you were going through the refinery and i'll never forget going through the refinery for the first time with my brother neo mental and it just being dark and gritty and you're seeing things in the distance run across and you know what they are you know, they're running across the pipes. That particular part of the game was just one of the, I, I think, one of the best parts in the game. And if we're going back to what made the uh, the the locust scary, I think that they really did depict that in the trailer where Marcus was fighting for his life. He got lucky to be alive. That's That's what it looks like to me, where he was able to just knock the thing back enough to grab the uh the retro lancer and blow its head off otherwise he was he was dead uh and obviously we see what happened at the end where he nearly dies again this to me seems like it's gonna be dark how do you feel about them returning to what made gears of war well gears of war yeah if, if they're going more with the horror approach or or like where it's you know, you're you're basically surviving from, you know, incident to incident type of thing. I think at that point, it will not only, you know, appeal to those that are, are you know, Gears fans, but it'll also appeal to a lot of people that have been asking for something along those lines, whether it be from Halo with the flood or, or something to that effect, because there isn't that, you know, shooter genre type of game that has that element of horror, other than some of like the remakes, like when you look at like dead space but it's not really a shooter because you're still based on survival where you're not going to have you know uh, limitless parts of or, or limitless ammo and things like that not saying that you'll have that in like a, a gears of war scenario but i i think having that blend of genres would actually be a, a, a appeal to a wider audience in comparison to maybe what it's done before it'll, it'll open up more doors to newer people or to newer players to give that, that experience a try. Cause I I'm all for stuff like that for the fact that it's like you peek around the corner and if it's like, you're going to have to fight for your life and you may not have to worry about the ammo count as much, but yeah, it's, it's going to be a, a harder fight. Yeah. Those are the types of games that are more appealing. It's almost like when you look at like what you playing division one here with the, the gameplay in the background, like the survival mode was awesome oh, because you didn't have that. Yeah. yeah you, you didn't have all of your, your normal skills or abilities. You didn't have the gear that you would normally have. So it's like that same level or one level up enemy that you can normally, you know, outgun or, or outsmart type of thing. It might be a little bit tougher fight this go around, especially if there's two or three of them. So, yeah, I, I would be for all for something along those lines if they take it to that that type of, you know, atmosphere or mood uh, as far as the gameplay. That would be awesome. 
Yeah. Now, Gamsley, I have a different question for you because obviously we'll talk horror, but there are four people that are part of this crew. Now, I don't know. Obviously, a lot of people played Judgment, didn't like Judgment for what it was. That was by People Can Fly. Uh, I actually quite enjoyed it, to be honest with you. I know that it didn't play exactly like you know prior gears, so that's why people had a distaste for it. But this is a sequel. I mean, I'm, this is a, this is a prequel. Um, we are going to get the horror element back into it, but I'm wondering if we're going to get an opportunity to use each particular character before they become this brotherhood. Like, are we going to see Coltrane uh, by himself, you know, and and his story to get where they eventually go? Are we going to see Baird? Uh, is he is he going to? Are we going to see his story? He's a bit of an asshole, that guy. I want to know why he's such a an a hole, right? Um, are we going to see Dom before he meets Marcus? I I, I honestly think that there is so much story to be told here and i absolutely love the fact that this is actually happening confirmed if you just look at the talk of the gaming community as big as some of the other announcements were this stands the tallest let's get your hot take on the horror returning and more importantly about the brotherhood that we're going to actually get a chance to see happen before our eyes yeah, um, I'm I'm pretty sure we saw one of those stories unfold um, uh, in one of the Gears games. I don't know what game it was. I, I forgot. I'm sorry, chat. But pretty sure we saw something like that happen before. But um, I love that idea of, like, bouncing around certain character arcs. But it, it, it'll be interesting to see what they choose. Stick with Marcus stick with the thing that works, stick with the guy that we love, and then introduce characters along the way. I think Dom and Marcus have a connection far beyond this point, and I think that they will start together. I, don't, I think they stay together. He's he's your man. Um, but as for the others, meeting the others, I think they just stick with Marcus throughout this whole game um, and give us those stories later on, But um, or, or during the campaign, because we, we got 14 years of... Things to be answered. We have a lot of intrigue, uh, a lot of things that can happen um, along the way. So I, I just want them to focus on Marcus and that through line story. Um, I, I don't quite my me personally. I don't like when they actually give me different play uh, things to play. I, I don't like it. It, it isn't That's interesting. Fair. It isn't interesting uh, story device to like hop between characters and give us some story and run a mission with them, but it, it's a very hard thing to do. And we know by other games trying to do it, that sometimes it doesn't land as, as you want it to. So um, if I was, if I was coalition, I would stick to Marcus and just give us something powerful with him. And that's, and that's it. Um, show me Dom and Marcus and show me the world going to hell. And, and I think that's enough. We don't need to bounce around 16 characters. Um, <laughs>